to Making Everyday Magic. I'm Shauna and I am here today to share a product with you. Now, Timberdoodle sent us this product to let them know how we feel about it, what we think, give her a review. But I have to be honest, I lobbied to get this product for review because I am a mom of girls. And I feel like it is my responsibility to ensure that they go out into the world um, having good confidence in their math and science skills. So before we go any further today, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. If you're a parent, I don't know why you'd be watching these if you weren't, but as a parent, you know how much weight and gravity goes into making decisions for your kiddos, um, trying to choose the best curriculum if you're a homeschooler, the best toys, the best things that you can in order to help them grow them, enrich them. I thoroughly enjoy learning. I enjoy these things and I want to pass these traits, a certain level of confidence onto my daughters, especially where the STEAM topics are concerned, especially science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. In those five subjects, I feel especially driven to encourage my daughters in the ways that they are interested in those topics. My oldest currently wants to be an astronaut and we do everything that we can to foster and encourage that. Um, there have been several studies done that show that girls' confidence begins to drop dramatically at age eight. There was another study done that said even math and science teachers who were female would tell you that their female students would underperform their male counterparts despite no actual proof of that having happened in the past. So there is just an automatic um, negativity surrounding girls and math and science. As a mom, as a mom to two girls, I desperately feel like it's my job to encourage, grow, foster any of those interests that apply to any kind of science, math, technical field at all. I definitely want to do my part to ensure that my girls are not some of the ones who have those big confidence drops, who don't believe in their abilities in math and science. And so whenever Timber Doodle um, asked for who would be willing to review this set, I eagerly jumped at the chance because Construction and building is huge in our house. Dad's an architect, we have like 10 million Lego sets. We enjoy anything that is hands-on, that's building, that's tactile, um, cause and effect, coding, anything relating to uh, building, construction, technology, again, falling back into those math and sciences. And so when I found out that this building set was going to be available, I knew that I wanted to come at this and lend a voice to moms of girls and the importance of these things because so often uh, building sets are thought of to be for boys and in boys things, but I mean girls, girls love building. It doesn't have to be all pink and shiny and glitter and baby dolls and cooking. Girls can build. So. Today, we are going to be talking at and looking at the Fisher Technic Advanced Universal 4 set. So, first impressions, or details, I guess. This set is included now, um, this year, in 2020-2021 curriculum kits in the second grade uh, curriculum kits through Timberdoodle, and I'll have a link below, as always. And what we had last year was actually a different building set when we ourselves had the second second grade curriculum kit. So I was so excited to, uh, to get to review these Fisher Technic kits. So what it is, is it is a 500 piece building set. And it has, guys, this book is like 
like the holy grail of the kit, okay? It has 40 different models you can build with this kit. If that's not enough, you can get expansion packs that have multiple kinds of motors, LED lights. You can build so many things with this kit, okay? And it looks like, just looking at it here, there are levers, there are hoists, there are chains, there are cranks, um, let's see, wheels. Um, so then you can also add on the plus. If it has a plus, that means you can add on the motorized kits and actually like make it move and do other fun things. So the pieces all seem to be in the uh, red, black, orange, yellow style here. And just in case you wanted to help use this, um, angles, guys, different angles are listed right here. It is a little bit difficult to find the, um, the English set because these instructions are in, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different languages. So you have to hunt just as much to find those. Uh, the company is Fisher Technic, or Fisher Technic is the product that is made by Fisher Company. They are out of Germany. And this is the Universal 4. So one of the first things in here is a, uh, a model for a truck. And it's kind of just like a basic little truck, right? But then the next several models are variations on this same base model truck. It's different things that you can do with them. So looking over it, guys, this is advanced. Like I'm hoping, I'm sure that dad's gonna help out my little bitty, um, but I'm interested to see how this goes and see if she like gets into it and really likes it because we do have experience with other kinds of building models in the past. Guys, this is in depth. It, I mean, these, it looks like they tongue and groove together and these are, these are pretty serious. So I'm interested to see how this goes. I'm really excited. Uh, something I can tell you is that the box comes with little segmented and I'll try to in, insert some pictures of the box. Um, it comes with like little segmented holders and there are so many pieces. Like I feel like I'm going to need like a full on like tackle box, uh, just to give you an idea, there's a whole bag of these. Can you even see that? There's a whole bag of these like witty bitty little things. Uh, my husband saw it and he knew instantly what it was. It was for making a chain. So we're gonna see how this goes. We're gonna see, she loves it, she hates it. I'm gonna try to insert some shots of her um, liking it or not liking it. And then we'll film the follow up and what we think after. But as I said, the importance of STEAM for both boys and girls is really high, but especially so for girls. There's so much that we can be doing to encourage and foster um, those paths, the confidence in pursuing careers in those fields that if there's a little bit that I can do as a mom, if it is as simple as adding building sets to our homeschool curriculum, you can guarantee I am first in line. I'm doing that really fast, guys. Look at all of these sets. Do you, do you see all of this stuff? And it ranges all the way from ages like five and up to like super advanced stuff. Oh guys, they sell like a box. They sell a box. We might need the box. Wow. They have a 3D printer y'all. For kids, a 3D printer. Okay, I just wanna show you this segment of box. Look at all of these pieces. Yes, there's 500 of them, okay? But they are, we've got gears, we've got tires, we've got, a pulley, like rubber band elastic thing. We've got um, whatever this is. I don't even know what these things are. Tires. She's gonna love it. Um, we're gonna see how it goes. Just so you know, we are, I don't know, 45 minutes into this and that's the extent of it. Um, this part, seriously. Not, not looking very user friendly guys.
Okay, so final thoughts on Fisher Technic. Um, well, not not our favorite. Not our not our next favorite. In all honesty, of all the building sets we've had in the house, probably our least favorite. Timber Doodle includes the Fisher Technic kit in their second grade curriculum kits. This exact kit in their second grade curriculum kits. My kiddo is in third grade and my husband together, they managed to make it through um, one build and it took them a long time. Uh, the one build is actually one part of three and she likes it. She likes what she made, um, but she didn't even want to finish the two other parts to this build. So the instructions are diagrams, um, but the pieces in the instructions are not illustrated well enough to ensure that you know which piece to use. And so there's a little bit of trial and error there. Uh, my husband specifically said, if you are not someone who does well with Ikea furniture, don't get this. Because the instructions are very similar to that, um, very basic drawings, not a lot of detail, no words. Um, so if you do not succeed well with Ikea products, don't get this. This is not something that your second grader is going to be able, this is not something that your second grader is likely going to be able to do on their own. Maybe a slightly older kiddo, like around fifth grade would have a lot more success opening this up and being able to go to town independently. Um, so this is something you're gonna wanna take out when you have plenty of time to help them. Again, it doesn't seem to be something that we love. We might not even play with it again. Don't love it, wouldn't recommend it. Skip it if you can. Uh, we do have a lot of experience with other building sets and like I said, this is not a favorite. So if you found anything today uh, helpful or informative, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, uh, give this video a thumbs up and turn on the bell for notifications. This just wasn't a good fit for us.